what it's called, hell is high Prosper in the law, call it jackpot Never saw your soul, this is food for thought Martyr for the Lord, he be drunk Oh yeah, yeah, it's not gonna take long You got five minutes It's not gonna take long, you can do like 20 and 15 Right? Cause I'm gonna show you something, cause I was agnostic at one point I believe there was a higher power Right? But when I read, actually read the Bible, right, I learned about the children of Israel. You know about the right. children of Israel? Yeah. Um, you know about Moses? Yeah. What did Moses do for the children of Israel? Freedom. Freedom from what? From their God, wasn't it? From what? From God himself? No, they freed from, from Pharaoh. From Pharaoh, right? Yeah. Pharaoh. Because Pharaoh had them in what? In slavery. In slavery, right? Were the Dominicans in slavery at one point? Yes. Okay, so let's read it in the Bible. We need um, Deuteronomy 28. Read 15, 15, 15 first, and then we're going to go to 16. So Moses told the people, if you keep God's commandments, when he released them and came to Mount Zion, he said, if you keep God's commandments, you will be blessed. If, but if you don't keep his commandments, you'll be cursed, right? And I'm going to show you that in the Bible, because with these curses, when you read them, it identifies who the children of Israel are today. All right? It's us. So if it's us, and you know that, why you believe there's just a mystical power out there? So you think the Most High would just leave us out here just naked like this? With no, no type of instructions, no nothing? See, but the, the thing is with the Bible, it's been misconstrued, right? You got people like the Baptist Church and all these pastors, they'll, they'll misconstrue the words of God. But they don't tell you the full truth. My thing with the Bible is the biggest game of telephone. It's been translated and written down so many times. Who knows what got taken out? Who knows what got added in it? Who knows that that is the right word? So, us practicing the commandments of God, right? By me telling my brother not to kill his brother, right? Do you think that's a bad thing or a, or a good thing? Oh. They don't walk around kind. So, you want us to back up a little bit? Nah, that's good. Just make sure they don't come back I don't back feel like in. we need the Bible to know that human morals. So, a, pe a, pedo a pedophile don't need the Bible. Yeah, but like... If he does all these bad things and then the last 30 seconds of his life he repents. And that's not, he's... that's the thing, that's what Christianity does. Yeah, that's that's not... wrong. Yeah, You're not no. supposed to do that. Right? You're supposed to not do it and then keep it moving. You're supposed to ask God for repentance because because look at this. You have Christ, right? Christ got on the cross and died for our sins, right? What's the point of us going ahead and sinning again if he just died for our sins? That could be used reverse too was the point of not sinning when he already died. And... Wait, what? Uh, uh, that can be used in reverse too. So what's the point of reverse? What's the point of not no, sinning? Tell me when you die for our sin. What's the point of not sinning? What's yeah. The point of not sin. Give me Romans six and twenty-two. This is the point of not sinning. But but, but after this, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna just prove to you that we are the children of Israel because you said you know, but I know you don't have no text on it. Right? Yeah. Okay. So read that. This is the book of Romans chapter six and verse twenty-three. What is sin first before I before I go on? Uh, going against the word of God, wouldn't it be? Breaking God's laws, right? Read. This is the book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. Mm -hmm. For the wages of sin. So what is a wage? A wage? Like a wager? Like a wage. Just wage by itself. Uh, when I give you make? a wage, what is that? It's pay, right? Yeah. Payment, right? You're making. Right? So read it from the top. For the wages of sin uh -huh. is death. What do you get from sin? Is it's death. death. So the wages of sin is death. So if you keep sinning and keep doing what you want to do, the most high might just have your car flip over 18 times. Right. And you'll die. Right? So the wages of sin is death. Right? But, the, but Christ came to give us that grace, that grace period to get things right. To make mistakes. Because, right, people fall all the time. People may sin, right, here and there. But you get back up and you strive for the right path. Right? That's what you have to do, brother. You got to strive for the right path, man. Right? Not strive off your own mind. Right? Because God gave us instruction. This is a blueprint to life in here, man. Right? There's all. There's a lot more things in here that the, the pastor or nobody didn't show us, man. Right? So re, like this right here. Go back to verse 68. Read. Go straight to verse 68. Oh, yeah, this is one of the curses that our people would um, go through in the in the, um, in the latter times, right? And this actually was written 3,000, 4,000 years ago, but it was this actually came to pass 400 years ago. No man, no human, can actually know that right. a certain group of people is going to be taken from the west coast of Africa in different parts. Um, of Africa and brought into tr the transatlantic slave trade and the sub-Saharan slave yeah, trade like cattle. Yeah, you here before Christopher Columbus. Yeah, you had Native Americans here too. No, we have Africans yeah. here. Gold from Africa was discovered in the Americas far before the 1400s. All right, sure, 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 sure. You're talking about the Northern Kingdom. That's, that's, yeah. those, those are people that were living in Africa too, but they came here first. Yeah. Right? 
But the thing is, Christopher Columbus came and took them and brought them to Spain and slavery. Right. Put them on ships, just like how we was taking on ships to Jamaica, Dominican Republic, Haiti, and all these different places. Right? So read that verse 68. Go ahead. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Let me get Exodus 22. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. All right, so remember, we said when we were in Egypt, we were in slavery, right? He said he's going to bring us into Egypt again, right? And the word Egypt is synonymous with bondage. And I have to prove that to you because everything I'm saying, I can't go off my own mind like pastors. Everything I'm saying has to be of God's word, right? And that's how you that's how you mess up these pastors. You make sure they're coming out of the Bible for everything they're saying, right? Like telling you to pay tithes all the time, right? But tithing was different in the, in the Old Testament than how they do it now. Right? So read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. Out of where? Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous with the house of bondage. Right? Because we were enslaved there. Right? So read verse 68 again. God, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The house of bondage again. Right? With ships. With what? With ships. How do our people get to America? With, with ships. How do our people get to America? All right, then how do our people get to Haiti? Dominican Republic. As well as All right, South America. All right, and that was written a long time ago. This is a prophecy. He said, you know, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again with ships this time. Right, read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. We'll never see our homeland again. Dominican Republic is not your homeland. You were brought there. Yeah. Right, read. And there uh -huh. ye shall be sold. You shall be sold. Who are we sold to? Whites. All right, we already know that, right, Reed? And there mm -hmm. ye shall be sold unto your enemies. What did the Bible call them? Unto, unto your, your enemies. enemies. No, the white man's cool. Unto, unto your, your enemies. Tom is a cool guy. Unto, unto your enemies. enemies. What about Billy? Unto, unto your, your enemies. enemies. What about Tommy? Unto, unto your, your enemies. enemies. These are our enemies, brother. Right, when you play chess, you play chess? Yeah. Right, when you play chess, right, and you see no pieces on the other side of the board, how you know who you're fighting against? Because... They let you, they, 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 they make it think like it's all good and dandy, right. but the Lord got an ought against them, man. Right. Mm -hmm. The Lord has something to, something against them because he, he touched the children of Israel. That's his chosen people, right? If someone, if you had a child, do you have a child? No. If you had a child and someone came and whooped your child's ass, brought him into slavery, drug him through the mud, and did all these different things, what would you do? <laughs> all right, then. So, so read that. Read it from the top. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships uh -huh. by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. Never see our home and read. And there uh -huh. ye shall be sold. Ye shall be what? Ye, ye shall, shall be sold uh -huh. unto uh -huh. your enemies uh -huh. for bondmen for and, slave men. and bond women. Slave women. And no man shall buy you. No one's going to redeem us out of this. Now Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, not um, Marcus Garvey, not um, any revolutionary ever, um, Desaline, no one's going to redeem us out of this but Christ himself when he comes back, right? But the only way to be redeemed out of this is what? Give me um, Revelation 22 and 14 one more time. Right? All right, all right. But this is, this is important though, man. This is very, where are you going? Uh, work. Oh, you gotta work? Yeah. Oh, I, I understand. All right, we'll read that. Come into the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 14. Uh huh. Blessed are they that do his commandments. They have to do what? That, that do his, his commandments. commandments. That's a contingency. You have to do his commandments. Do you know any of his commandments? Actually, no. All right, then. So read. Okay. Keep reading. Keep reading that. And that they may the have the right to the tree of life. That they may have right to the tree of life, right? Because th there's not just one gate in the kingdom where everybody gonna walk through happy-go-lucky and then you're gonna see the little baby with the pampers and the wings on shooting with a little arrow on your butt, yeah. right? That ain't happening, man, right? Contrary to popular belief, though all those things are fairy tales, man, Yeah. right? No little baby angels going like this. The most highest angels are spears. They're mean, bro. They look, they, they look they, like they about their business, That's man. why they start every sentence with, child, do not fear. Mm -hmm. Do not fear. Yeah, whenever they seen them, they said, do not fear. And what they did when they seen them, they bowed, do not bow to me. Right? So read that. That they may have right to the tree of life. 21 and 12. Oh, 21 and 12. Come on. This is the right. book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. Uh -huh. And and had a wall great and high. Right, so this is in the kingdom right here. It has a wall great and high, right? Read. And had 12 gates. And it had 12 gates, not one gate. Right, read. At the, at the gates, 12 angels. 12 mighty angels at each gate. Guarding the gate, right? Read. And names written thereon. And what names are written on those gates? 
which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Come on now. They don't teach us this in church, man. So what I'm saying to you, brother, is I know you I know you believe in a higher power. But find out what that higher power is. All right. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. Take it easy. Check us out on the flyer. If you have a QR code on there, mm -hmm. our classes are on there, our contact information is there. We well, have service every week. week. Uh, yeah. Yo, Saturday. I bought the shot. All right, yeah. man. All right, man. All right, All right brothers. Right Be safe. Oh, no, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Step it up for the most high. Chapter 9 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. For such as in their life have received benefits mm -hmm. and have not known me. Right? So you have all these rappers. They receive benefits, man. P and B Rock. Right? right? Um, Quando, Rondo, all these different artists have received benefits and they don't know the most high, man. They're teaching our people to kill, rob, steal, and kill each other, man. Right? Read. And they that have loathed my law mm -hmm. while they had yet liberty. So you had the liberty, man. Right? You have the liberty to keep the Most High's commandments, right? Read. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. Mm -hmm. And then what's going on right now? The place of repentance is open up right now, man. Right? But you got people running by willy-nilly like this. Right? You got our people doing the same thing, just walking by, running by, man. Right, Reed? Understood not. They didn't understood what? Understood, understood not. not. They did not understand that this place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. The only way to save yourself from that is to keep the laws in the Bible. Right. Right? They don't understand that you need to keep the laws in the Bible to be saved from thermonuclear destruction. Work it out. Right? How, to, to even imagine something like that, that's, that goes over the black man's head, man. Right? Are you saying if I keep the Shabbat and I gather with y'all on Saturdays, I'm going to be good when the war hits? Like, you tell somebody that, they're they going to look at us like you Right, crazy. right. Right? That's why that's why the scriptures say about the strangeness of our, of our salvation. Right. Because the people that are going to be saved are the ones keeping the commandments. Let me get um Revelation 22 and 14. And let me get that wisdom of Solomon 501. Right? This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 22 and verse 14. Uh -huh. Blessed are they that do his commandments, mm -hmm. that they may have right to so, the tree of life. So you're going to have a right to the tree of life, the tree of immortality. Right? You're going to have a right to it by just keeping the commandments. Man, not putting the pork down, man. You can't put the pork down to get immortality. All right. Man, that's crazy, man. You're right. The concept of that is crazy, man. All right, yeah, it is. Right? Yeah, it is Read. And they enter in through the gates into the city. Mm -hmm. And this has already been seen already. It already has been seen that people keeping the commandments are going to be entered into the gate of the kingdom, man. Right. Right? So read what you got. Come to the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Uh -huh. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. And right now we're standing in great boldness, man. Before anybody. Right? right? Enemies of our nations and the enemies of the other nations. Right, read. Before the face of such have afflicted him mm -hmm. and made no account of his labor. They, they don't care about what we're doing. Right? Every time somebody ride by, hey, y'all dancers? Y'all step team? Right. Right? Read. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Mm, but hey, just imagine that. When they see it, what are they going to be seeing? The Most High and his tens of thousands of angels, man. Right? They're going to they gonna be troubled with fear when they see the thermonuclear destruction, too. Right. Imagine seeing that missile in the sky and they saying, you got 30 minutes for that thing touchdown. You're going to be troubled with terrible fear. That's man. right. Right, Read. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. As that missile's touching down and we rising up, they're going to be amazed at the strangeness of that. Right. Right? Yeah. And our people being so-called abducted by aliens. Right. Right? Hey, Christ was abducted by aliens. Right. Right? Let me get that in Acts 1, 1 and verse 8 or verse 9. One of the other. Right? You go, go into your regular church right now and say Christ was abducted by aliens. <laughs> what, what would they say?
Let's get it poppin', it's the Prophet Zamar L.O.Z. Soldier and Yahweh told me Wake up my people, it's almost over In the synagogue of Satan been faking. We gon' expose him, so is iron rusted So is his wickedness, they corroded And John 3.16, the only verse these Christians quoting I'm looking at him like, what the hell y'all been smoking?